Hey guys, Trish Vardy here. I'm an osteopath and a chiropractor here in the UK, in London, and I'd love to tell you all about in this video what the similarities between August and December are. And the thing is, there's two main areas that I really love life about is health and in business as well. And in both those aspects, there's similar reasons why both August and December are very similar. So let's take a look at it. First of all, what happens is everybody slows down in these months in terms of their work life. They tend to do much more uh, chilling out, relaxing, um, really taking things easy, slowing things down. And what you'll find is in that situation is that, for example, the diet will change. So they may eat more because they're on vacation in August, maybe in December as well. Certainly we've got Christmas in December. So you're eating way more. You may be more stressed now in December. Of course, it's obvious that you've got the stress of like, getting ready for Christmas as well as you've got the stress of travel, if you're gonna go travel to your loved ones, or you may be taking a vacation, but in a similar way back in August, what we also have is you're traveling as well, so you're lugging around lug luggage or suitcases, traveling in different types of vehicles, so planes, trains, ships, whatever it may be, maybe long car journeys, maybe coaches or buses as well. And on top of that, you're sleeping in different beds and pillows, especially at Christmas time. As well. You know, if you're going to be sleeping around families and you've got a big family like I do, and you end up on the floor because there's not enough space, not enough beds around because everyone's visiting, which is not a problem, it's fun in itself, but certainly all these things will then aggravate any type of underlying aches or pains that you might have. And therefore that then manifests itself and it comes out at that point. And in both these times, everyone goes, oh yeah, I've got a summer flu. Oh yeah, I've got the winter flu. And it's like, well, hang on a second. Where do these bugs go the rest of the year, like in spring and autumn? They don't just like take another vacation during those times. These bugs are around us the whole time. And so what happens invariably at these times of the year, so both in August and in December, is that we tend to change our lifestyle so much that really affects the balance of our health, the balance of our bodies. And what happens within that then is that your immune system takes a dip because it's not able to then handle all the extra strain and stress from your changing your lifestyle and sudden changing lifestyle too. And then all those opportunistic bugs and diseases that are around you the whole time will then have an effect and they'll start then really attacking your body and attacking your immune system which can't cope with that extra stress and strain. And also, similarly, a business or an organization or a project has the same thing. See, what happens at the same time is your team may get smaller temporarily because let's say you've got a team of 20 people, five people have gone on vacation, therefore you're down by 25% of your task force. Yet you've got to still output the same amount of work and energy, same like your body does. And so then what happens is that the rest of those 15 remaining have to increase their stress and workload and that also pushes them to get unwell. But at the same time, what you'll find most people do is they take it easier as well. And you'll find that definitely in December, you get that slowdown, right? And that's when you've got to be motivated. You've got to be really, especially if you're an entrepreneur or you're leading a team, you've got to really stay at the front and motivate your team, your project your community, because that's not when you want to slow down. You want to speed things up whilst everybody else was retreating. This makes it so much easier for you to go and get your gains, go and get all of your success, go and get all the things that you deserve, not just for yourself, but for your community ultimately, because that's the people you're going to be serving. And that's why I want to make sure that you don't give up at this point. Don't get lost in the cycle of the people that are surrounded in your community who are chilling out, who are taking it easy. I took a poll recently and found out that 100% of those who took part in my survey were relaxing and 0%, 0 were actually taking up the extra opportunity to really build and gain on the momentum that they could do as well. So whatever you do at this point in your, in your year, whatever year it is, this happens every single year, don't give in, don't give up. Keep up the momentum. If anything, do what I do, double up, triple up, 
quadruple up, really push forward, and you'll be surprised at how much gain you can make, how much success, and also, by the way, it feels so good, because you already feel ahead of the pack. Not that you ever want to really necessarily compare yourself with other people, because I think we all live our own individual journeys, but certainly the exciting thing is, is that it empowers you to believe that you're doing the right thing for yourself, for your family, your loved ones, your community, and ultimately serving a better purpose. I hope you've really enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment below. I read every single one of these comments and I would really appreciate it if you could share this with your loved ones and really make sure that the people that in your life who are following you are really getting the attention that they need and support and advice and guidance. And I really appreciate you supporting me and all across all of my social media channels too. Thanks for watching.